to be in Carolina in the morning. Hello, I'm John Malos, and welcome to Connect With Me on this Friday morning, live from the showroom floor at Ventura TV. Today, we've got two very special guests. They are from the Valley Caregiver Resource Center of Fresno. They help senior citizens, those who are in need. Your phone calls are very important here. 265-4331, the area code, it's the same as it's always been, 559. We'll hear from you and our two guests in just a moment. It is your community day here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, live uh, on Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. We want your phone calls today, as usual, each and every day here, 559-265-4331. Very interesting topic that might be of interest to all of you out there watching on this day. We're talking about the care for seniors, those who are in need and are up there in years and need assisted living or what have you, you know, if they're in a skilled facility or, or whatnot. We have two guests today from the Valley Caregiver Resource Center of Fresno, and they are here to talk about what kind of services they offer to those senior citizens that uh, need help in living day-to-day -day life, whether it's uh, going to the grocery store, whether it's going to the restroom, whatever it might be, uh, those needs are taken care of by the Valley Caregiver Resource Center at Fresno. And by the way, their uh, fundraiser is coming up on October the 19th, so we'll talk about that. Now, they assist seniors, as I said. They help with emotional support, which is very important because if a senior gets taken out of their home and they go into, say, a skilled facility or you know a board and care unit, a lot of times there is emotional stress and an emotional drain on both not only uh, the family members but the person who is actually being taken out of the home because of whatever kind of physical or mental ailments that there might be. So there might be some advice here given today on that topic, uh, 265-4331. We're going to also talk about medical, medical cost and what that, the uh, Resource Center helps in that regard take care of uh, or assist or help navigate you through some of those Medicare nightmares, as I like to call them. Also, they are advocates for seniors. Live in our studio right now is Michelle Mastro. She is the executive director on the left, and Susanna Rodriguez. Both are here to take your phone calls and answer some questions about the Resource Center and how you can get through this stage of life. When you have a senior, an uncle, a father, a mother who's up there in years, and they're in need. Back with your phone calls, 265-4331, in just a moment. The great detective Remington Steele, he doesn't exist. I invented him. The woman behind the man, Miss Laura Holt. Until the day he walked in, with his blue eyes and mysterious past. Remington Steele is an elaborate ruse. He does not exist. We never mix business with pleasure. Well, almost never. I think it's time they found me. Remington Steel, weeknights at 8, 7 central on MeTV. And welcome back here to Connect With Me on this Friday morning, a very interesting topic. So call in because this applies to anyone and everyone at least some point in life. Everyone's going to go through that stage of life when we need care. There's no doubt about it. There's no avoiding it. Either you're going to die early or you're going to end up in that kind of a situation. Is that right, Michelle? Right. All right. Michelle Mastro, welcome. Thank Susanna you. Susanna Rodriguez, welcome. Thank you. you guys are from the Valley Caregiver Resource Center of Fresno. Exactly what is that? It's a nonprofit organization that does what? First of all, it's a nonprofit, like you said, but and we offer an array of comprehensive services for seniors and caregivers. So we have four different programs. And pretty much, John, if you were to walk in our door, um, 
we have within these four programs, we're able to help you as a either a caregiver or a senior. Okay. Now, before we get into what kind of services that your um, center offers, how old is your organization and how are you funded? Okay. Our organization has been in existence over 25 years. Okay. And um, we are, our main office is local in Fresno, but we do cover nine counties. One of our programs does, and that's from Kern County all the way up to Stanislaus. That's a long distance. Yeah. That's way up uh, near Stockton, Mm -hmm. Stanislaus County, yeah. And our staff is amazing in the sense that um, everybody um, has a very big heart to help seniors and their families. Right. And uh, Susanna, where does the money come from? A nonprofit? Is it all donations? What? We do re- uh, receive funding through uh, various grants for our uh, programs, and also we do receive donations uh, for our per- for the different programs through Valley Caregiver Resource Center. But it is uh, grant based. We get right. federal and state dollars. Federal, state. federal and state dollars. Mm-hmm. And how much comes in each year, or how much are you hoping? How much um, money are you hoping for each year? Probably um, a little bit over $1 million is our budget. Right. Okay. We have a phone call here. So uh, before I get to the phone call, your title is, what do you do with the Resource Center? I'm within the uh, Fresno Madeira Ombudsman Program. I'm the program manager for oh, that's our a great program. advocacy yes. for residents in long-term care. Thank goodness that program is in existence. We'll have a mm-hmm. phone call here that we'll take. Good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Hello. Hello. Hi, speak up. Go ahead. Your oh, question hi. quickly. You're um, on the air. I just want to know if, if this is strictly for senior citizens or, or does it also involve handicapped um, that might be terminal? It's mainly for people who are taking care of a loved one or um, so finish? the this, uh, for the Caregiver Resource Center program, we have two different uh, grants. One specifically that al- allows us to provide services for families that are, are in a caregiving situation for an individual that is over 60, regardless of the specific diagnosis. Or the other grant allows uh, the Caregiver Resource Center to provide services for an individual after the age of 18 with a brain impairment. I see. So over 60, again, for what? Uh, Regardless of a specific diagnosis, it has to be a family member who is... Like Alzheimer's or whatever. Or cancer, a frail elderly. Right. And then over the age of 18. Yes. Specifically for that grant, you have to... The family caregiver has to be caregiving or providing some support for an individual over the age of 18 with a brain impairment condition or illness. An injury or something of that nature. Uh, Brain related disease or disorder. Yes. After the age of 18. What happens if a person gets into an accident? A car accident? Traumatic. Traumatic uh, brain injury. That caregiver would qualify for the Caregiver Resource Center. Okay. And how do you qualify, Michelle? That's a great question. How do you qualify? Mm -hmm. It's um, all you have to do is be be taking care of a loved one and not getting paid for it. That's the main uh, criteria. It's not fun-based, doesn't matter how much you make, there's no means test. You just have to be taking care of a loved one, either over the age of 18 with a brain impairment, over the age of 60, regardless of diagnosis. So your income is not a factor? No, not at all. Or how much money you have in the bank is not a factor. This has nothing to do with funds or money. This has to do with caregiving. Right. We just really want to help the caregiver so that they can keep their loved one at home as long as possible. And also when it's knowing when it's appropriate to place, too. So we just try to help them throughout the whole gamut of caregiving. Okay. Now, let's go through the four services that you offer step by step by step. Actually, before I get into that, you're fundraiser is October the 19th. It's going to take place where? At Wolf Lakes. It's okay. just a week away. All right. Let's take a picture of the hall from last year, uh, and then we'll get into the services that you offer. This is a big-time fundraiser, October the 19th. What day of the week is that? It's That's a Friday a night. Friday night. At mm-hmm. what time? At 6.30. And what are we looking at there in the picture? That's the setup before we start. Um, we just kind of go all out and trying to um, capture. We do a theme. 
and okay. last year it was a Caribbean, and this oh, year great. it's an African safari theme. That looks great. That looks yes. great. So what does it cost? It's $65 a person, uh -huh. and that you get um, complimentary champagne when you walk in. Uh -huh. uh, we have a... I don't drink, so... Okay, well, there's <laughs> apple cider, too. Okay. Or sparkling cider. <laughs> and then also um, there's a complimentary wine tasting with San Joaquin Wine Company. Good. And then we have a steak and shrimp dinner. And, wow. Um, and then we have dancing. That is wonderful. So it starts at what time? At 6.30. At 6.30. This is October the 19th. And this is w approximate. W where is the location physically? It's at Wolf Lakes, which is right. just east of uh, McCall off of Ashland. Okay. Is that close to Sanger or is mm -hmm. that in Clovis? It's, it's, it's considered Sanger, but considered it's on the outskirts Sanger. of Clovis. Yeah. And the telephone number is what? As we change the photo to something else, we can look at from last year's event, big fundraiser event. Uh, a telephone number in case they want to call in as we're looking at some people check in last year. 559-224-9154. Uh, 224 224-9154. 9154. And we're looking at some more pictures there as we this have about 30 seconds before we go to break here. And change it again. We'll take a look at some more. And that's the hall filled up with uh, a lot of folks willing to donate. Right. Exactly. Yeah. We have some great silent and live auction items. And we even have some items from Ethiopia. That's wonderful. Look at that happy couple dancing there. And oh, hey, that, is that your son? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> with his wife? Yes. Oh, that's great. What a great picture. All right, we got to go to break. I do want to talk about the services that you do offer for families here in the Central Valley and have for the past uh, quarter century or so. Very important information, 265-4331 is the number. We are here with Michelle Mastro and Susanna Rodriguez back in just a moment. Is taking care of laundry taking too much of your time? Have you become a missing mom? With a new efficient washer and dryer from Ventura TV Video Appliance. You'll spend more of your day the way you want. This Omana Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is now just $6.99. And this Heavy Duty Maytag Super Capacity Washer Dryer Pair is only $8.99. Don't spend your life on laundry. Upgrade today at Ventura TV Video Appliance and save. Welcome back to Connect With Me on this uh, Friday morning. Hey, the good thing about Friday is it's the weekend. The weekend is upon us, right? Yes. Yeah. Going to the fair, so I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And your fundraiser is on October the 19th. That's coming up very soon because today is what, the 12th? Mm -hmm. That's next away. Friday. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's talk about the services. Suzanne, um, the Valley Caregiver Resource Center, one of the services that they provide is emotional support now you guys cover nine counties the organization covers nine counties what it be specific what kind of emotional support do you offer and to whom well in one of the programs the caregiver resource program for the caregivers we offer um, their emotional support because each one of them will have their own family consultant a person that will go into the home and do an assessment and just help them plug into different resources around so that right there offers support because they feel like are they're you all alone. Are you giving emotional support to the caregiver or right. the person uh, who's in need? The caregiver. The caregiver only. Right. Not the, well, it, because you know, there's but, a lot of stress. Right. And exactly. And many times, lot. unfortunately, John, um, we have instances where the caregiver may pass away before the loved one. So we're trying to... Really? So it, in effect, mm. it helps both of them. If we can help the caregiver, it's going to help the care recipient also. Right. And so we can do that. We can provide um, uh, professional counseling along with our social workers that help them out. We have classes that Susanna helps teach. So education really gives them a lot of empowerment. Um, we also have legal counsel and... Um, Am I missing anything else? Short-term respite we right. offer for the mm -hmm. caregiver to help them throughout the different stages of care. Um, we do see various... Um, needs and support we're talking about emotional support many of the the families are experiencing grief anticipatory grief as the uh, family member is declining mm -hmm. in health lifestyle changes so there is much stress that caregivers experience so trying to help them and assist them with the resources 
uh, and also the support to help them cope as they're experiencing these lifestyle changes. So there isn't that caregiver burnout or compassion fatigue we often see, which then in turn will affect the caregiving and also quality of life, both for the caregiver and also for the patient. Right. Offering emotional support is very important, and I do have another question, but let's take the phone call first and see uh, what their question is. Uh, good morning. You're on Connect with me with our two guests, and what is your question? Well, I just want to make a comment. Uh, I'm over 60 with disabilities, and I uh, don't have any relatives in San, in San Jose, and I just recently started receiving a help with a caregiver uh, in, in home support services. And it's just fantastic what they've done for me. Uh, you know, they, kind of, they, they clean up my house and my laundry and stuff, and uh, mm. just not only raised my self-esteem, but uh, it lowered my depression, too, because I, mean, I couldn't take care of myself, and I was going straight down, basically a shut-in, and uh, I was fortunate enough to get a, a worker. She, I asked her how long she can do this. She said, since 1978. And she comes in, starts the laundry. While that's going, she mops and cleans the kitchen and bathrooms, starts the second level laundry, vacuums all out, she's in and out, and I just feel so much better about things, and um, I, I can barely walk. It's like some days I can't get out of bed, but uh, uh, I really want to thank people who help helpless people that need help. Right. And, uh, special calling. So thank you. How many times a week does uh, this person come in to the home? Uh, she comes in twice a week. Okay. And yeah. uh, she usually prepares my meals for me and food so I can... Uh, just microwave stuff later on as I need it. Yeah, and what organization uh, is this person from? Um, I'm receiving my um, services from Madera County Being Home Support Services. Okay. And um, like I said, I was lucky to just get, it's hard to find someone that you allow into your house that you can trust and uh, oh, yeah. depend on, you know. Yeah. And I have confidence in this person that's helping me. Uh, and I enjoy your show. Well, thank you. Is, is there any question you'd like to ask our two guests today? Um, is it, I, I need other counseling, too. Uh, mental health counseling. I lost that from uh, switching over from the uh, Anthem Blue Cross to the Medicare program. And uh, I was wondering if we can contact the Valley uh, Caregiver Resource Center to see if there's something I could get. For yes, you could call us. It wouldn't be under our caregiver program, but our high cap program, health insurance counseling. So, okay. sir, just call 224 9117, and that's the high cap program, and they could help you with your Medicare issues. Yeah, because the new changes in Medicare and exactly. everything. Confuses me and baffles me. So, yeah. and that's another one of our programs that right. open enrollment starting. I just want to make and sure we'll get into that, that in, okay. in a few minutes. But we have four that we want right. to cover here before okay. we uh, run out of time. So, I appreciate your phone call, sir. Thank you very much. And uh, is that some kind of a service that you offer? Do you go into the home and help, say, prepare a meal, or we don't? That's in-home supportive services, which is a state agency, a local agency. Okay. But we do provide, like Susanna said, respite, where we will pay right. for someone to go in and give the um, caregiver a break, right. and that person can do some services. Getting back to the emotional support, uh, aside from giving emotional support, sometimes there is confusion. Do you help people make decisions about what they should do if they should leave the home, stay in the home. Do you help make decisions? And that's part of the the emotional support we offer, as Michelle had mentioned, the counseling, professional counseling we, uh, we offer for the caregiver. Again, in the caregiver resource center, the client is the caregiver to provide, and right. that is the individual who's receiving the services. It right. could be the counseling support groups that are available uh, that we have also and that we offer then and facilitate there's others in the community we do assist with care planning which is uh to your question looking at uh, the care options that's best sure. for the, the family. There's various issues that need to be considered when, for families, you know, in regards to the level of care, right. the caregiver burnout, uh, the caregiver's health as right. well is discussed, uh, emotional support, and also looking at uh, the financial 
uh, aspect and legal right. aspects of caregiving, which are one of why we offer also the legal consultation. Okay, we've got to take a break. We'll come back with more mm -hmm. of our uh, two guests here, Michelle Mastro and Susanna Rodriguez, talking about the Caregiver Program, 265-4331, in a moment. You tell me who I am. They called you West. Jim West. Mr. West. West! Well, my name is James West. A truly great man. Brilliant. Secret Service agent. What's next? Come on, I'm waiting. Man of action. He's James West. Where's Jim West? On the Wild Wild West. Weekdays at 4, 3 Central on MeTV. And another phone call coming in for our two guests. Good morning. You're on Connect with me here on MeTV Fresno. What's your question? Uh, good morning, John. Um, I have a question about the caregiver thing. You keep talking sure. about loved ones and that sort of thing. Uh, okay. Must the caregiver be related? Mm, good question. Does the caregiver have to be related to the person they're caring for? It just most likely yes. It just depends what it's the a situation. Requirement? No. Okay. It could be someone. Um, that's why we say a family member or a loved one. Okay. But okay, it, it well, can't. The, the main criteria. I have a friend who is disabled who is able to make meals for me. I am over sixty and have cancer. So and mm. I have no income. So I I'm just wondering if that might work. Well, f do you have someone that's helping you besides this person? Because uh, how how the situation would work is if you have let's say um, a relative that would be your caregiver. Okay. And then they also would hire this person who's helping you, and then we would be able to reimburse them for paying this person. I see. Hmm. Okay. 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 Well, thank you very much. Thank I you. I appreciate the information. Hey, thank you, and good luck to you, sir. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye now. Uh, so you offer relief if uh, the caregiver wants to go to the store, wants to meet the a doc doctor appointment, exactly. um, go get the car serviced, whatever. Whatever you stay they need. Mm -hmm. And watch over the the person that they're caring for right we'll send someone either from a home health agency or if it's someone that they know that they've been uh, familiar with already okay now maybe we can talk about the high cat program what is that exactly the health insurance uh, counseling and advocacy program a uh, very great resource and uh, to provide for medicare benef uh, beneficiaries that have questions in regards to medicare appeals uh, supplement insurance looking at a best coverage for for the medicare recipient looking at prescription duck, uh, drug coverage there's so many questions about uh, what's being covered what's not uh, even understanding medicare itself this is a free counseling and advocacy for those with medicare um, right this isn't for the caregiver this is for no, the person this isn't for that, anyone that is under care yeah medicare no. Anyone Medicare. that has Medicare oh, anyone or that has anyone, Medicare. this is for okay. anyone specifically that has Medicare, and because there's just understanding your plan, what is covered, if it hospital is covered, if if the plan that you have in regards to medications. So this is for anyone that falls under the Medicare category, can Except, call your resource mm -hmm. center, and and you guys can navigate through this maze exactly. of information yes. that makes no sense to anyone. A counseling session could be someone wanting to just understand understand their plan, looking at other other Medicare prescription drug coverage, uh, non-biased. We don't uh, um, uh, There's no sell. sales pitch. It's just you help let's them look at the, the options. You help them look online to see what they qualify for mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. And so they can have an informed decision. Many times, you know, you hear different, uh, different companies maybe selling, and you might not know you as a Medicare recipient, if this is the best coverage for you. So having a non-biased uh, consultation to be able to look at, this this is the medications that I'm required to have, what plan is best for me? So yeah. uh, in that meeting, a, a high cap counselor can right. review that, and you can make an informed decision right. about what's best. I don't have to best. be a caregiver to, to, it's to, not, to, no. to it's ask for this It's a whole separate program. Help. Okay, this is it's a, a whole separate, separate program, program that you offer to anyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anybody. Okay, mm -hmm. and Medicare, now if you qualify for Medicare is Medicare the primary insurance mm -hmm. you see and the, that would be one of the questions because there could be um, looking at if you're going to have the primary uh, there are many older adults that might have Medicare as a primary and have a, uh, or have also a Medi-Cal uh, insurance or other uh, 
types of insurance. So here you want to look at what's the best. There is open enrollment making changes to your coverage. Uh, for some, this is a, quite confusing to understand. So having an appointment with a, a counselor can, can be helpful, uh, especially uh, when there are uh, questions that are very specific to Medicare coverage. But generally oh. speaking, mm -hmm. Medicare is the primary and your private insurance is the secondary. It generally could be. speaking. It could be. Right. Yes. Okay. Seven. We're going to continue our conversation here with Michelle and Susanna. And your phone calls, very important, about the caregiver program here in Fresno. Been around 25 years. Big fundraiser coming up. 265 4331. Back in a minute. Ventura TV Appliance Center. We're the save energy, save time, save money place. The Energy Star qualified number one rated high efficiency cabrio from Whirlpool Place. You heard right. Right now, save big on select Whirlpool cabrio laundry pairs and pay no interest when paid in full within six months. At the hometown low price, think outside the big box place. Since 1951, Ventura TV Appliance Center, we're working hard to be your place. And we are back. Our number is 265-4331. Let's talk about the Ombudsman Program because that's your specialty, is that correct, yes. at the uh, Valley Care Resource Center? Uh, I'm new to the uh, program as a program manager as of this year and looking at advocacy for um, our residents in long-term care facility facilities both in Fresno and Madera you County. You advocate for these these people. Ensuring that the residents in our long-term care facilities, residential care facilities for the elderly and Are being skilled, treated properly. Yes, and one. getting good care, services, and safety and health. That's what the Ombudsman Program is all about. Yes. Making sure that those people are treated fairly. The, their rights are not being violated because right. we have rights. Our rights have not been stripped in a way and we want to ensure that right. that their rights are are continuing uh, and they have a voice. Just and, because a person can't feed themselves or dress themselves mm -hmm. or go to the restroom by themselves does mm -hmm. not mean they have lost their rights. Right. Wow. And the ombudsman program comes in and they make sure that mm -hmm. that is what's going on mm -hmm. in that skilled facility, right? Yes, and so we all address that with the uh, with the resident as we as there might be a resident that can voice that. We there might be a resident who might not um, have the capacity to be able to, to share that. So we will then uh, take the complaint, look at how to resolve this best for the for the um, resident. We do take uh, residents' complaints or the complaint of their legal guardian. Michelle, we have about two minutes mm -hmm. left. Talk about the adult daycare or day program that's on site. You help uh, patients who have Alzheimer's and other problems. Uh, just Talk about that program that's in-house, right? Right. It's um, it's on site. It's okay. not in our office, but it's really a great, exciting program. It's stimulating. It's for um, people who what have... What do you do to help them? It's like a, it's an adult day program. So people will drop off their loved one, uh, let's say at 9 o'clock in the morning, and they will stay there till 3 o'clock and have activities. They'll have Bingo, holiday checkers, party. checkers, whatever. Exactly. And yeah. we believe in giving them a quality of life. They deserve right. it. And right. um, it's it's an amazing it's program. It's mm -hmm. having fun, right? Right. We have people go in there. We have therapy dogs, birthday parties. It's just a great program. Where where is this site? It's at just it's at thirty eight twenty one North Clark. So it's just down um, one building over from our office. Do you office. pick up the patients, or do you? No, but we no. do can connect them with Handy Ride. Okay. so that they will go to their home, pick them up, and drop them off. Okay, again, your phone number, if somebody wants to get in contact with you, is what? 559-224-9154. Okay, 224-9154. that's here in Fresno, and your fundraiser is October the 19th, yes. that's a Friday. Mm -hmm. It's coming up, and again, it's at? Wolf Lakes, Wolf at 6.30. Lakes. Yeah, uh, that's out near Sanger, and so, Good luck with the program. I know, well, you don't need luck. You've been around for 25 years, so we wanted to give you some, you know, a little push here on the air. Oh, we appreciate it. We have thousands it. of viewers here on this program each and every day, and we wish you the best. Thank you so much. Okay, Michelle, come back. And I you will. too, Susanna. Thank you very much. You have a much. pleasant weekend. Thank you. It's you nice too. nice to see you. All okay. right. We'll see you guys again. And coming up Monday, we've got Monty Torres and Anna Laurel coming up from KMPH. They'll both be sitting here. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here Monday.
And here goes. Some shows force you to laugh. <laughs> but with Mary Tyler Moore, laughter comes easily. <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore, more laughs and more more. The more the merrier. It'll tickle your funny bone. <laughs> Would you like to borrow a feather? Weeknights at 9, 8 central on MeTV. That's all, folks.